the first item on our agenda is an update and an overview of the activity going on at the Winchester Towers and then some information from Crestline Properties, who is the proposed development partner with Glaze Developments, working with the EDA on the demolition and the redevelopment of that site. So, Tyler Shank, if Tyler would come up and we would get that part started. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Honorable Mayor, members of council, I'm happy to report that the towers should be down next week completely. So okay. once we're done with that, we're going to start moving all the construction debris, uh, get a nice, clean site to develop. Uh, we will be working with uh, Crestline in the near future to uh, sign an option agreement with Crestline and Blaze Developments to explore studying the property, seeing what needs to be done to prepare the site. We expect this to take about six months. We're hoping to get this agreement executed in January. I have here the general manager of the Stonewall Jackson. He's going to show a brief PowerPoint and explain uh, some of the benefits of Crestline, you know, what their models like, and how maybe our hotel can be comparable to Stonewall Jackson. So please, it's not. Thank you. Morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. This is uh, plugged in. Um, yeah, put in, yes. Partners. 
Then all the way to 2010, 2013, when uh, American Realty Capital acquired the majority ownership within Crestline. Lots of hospitality experience. So the history uh, starts by uh, combining two leading hospitality management firms. We've been able to deliver exceptional results for a variety of hotel owner, owners for over a decade. Uh, we subscribe to six core values within our management company, respect, honesty, commitment to quality, creativity, growth, and teamwork. And these are themes that you'll find throughout all of our managed hotels. And our simple mission is to enhance and grow our, our reputation as one of the nation's most respected hospitality management companies uh, in the world. Here's some uh, samples of some of the recognition that we've received as of recently. I'll let you just kind of take a look at some of these. Uh, a lot of them are from major brands that you can see, Marriott. We've got uh, some courtyard awards, some renovation awards. Uh, we've got guest service awards that we've won recently, uh, as well as other brands such as Holiday Inn and Hyatt. So we work with a vast majority of branded and independent products, and, and you can certainly see our recognition with our partner brands. So when we were talking about the product, uh, Crestline operates a diversified array of both select service and full service high quality assets. We have a multitude of brands. Uh, which capitalize on the varied customer demographics as well as provide a competitive advantage for us whatever market that, we're, that we are uh, a part of. And again, some of the high profile hospitality REITs that we manage properties for. Okay. Here's a visual of where we operate uh, these 105 hotels. You can see that we're uh, spread out pretty much throughout the entire United States, and we continue to expand our national footprint, again, with all uh, major brands of hotel operators. This will give you somewhat of a uh, blurred uh, view of what hotels we have in each state plus the District of Columbia. In Virginia, we've got the Courtyard in Charlottesville University Medical Center. We've got the Courtyard Virginia Beach Oceanfront at 25th Street, as well as the Courtyard at 37th Street. We've got a Courtyard in Summit. We've got an independent hotel, the Fort McGruder uh, Hotel and Conference Center in Williamsburg. We've got a Hilton Garden Inn in Blacksburg. Residence Inn in Manassas. The Marriott Newport News at City Center. Stonewall Jackson Hotel and Conference Center here in Stanton. There's a Town Place Suites by Marriott in Suffolk, Virginia. The Weston Virginia Beach at Town Center, as well as a Hyatt Place in Glen Allen. <coughs> Some of the projects we're currently working on or have recently completed um, one of the major ones that we've started some work on here over the past uh, couple of uh, months and years, the uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame Hotel and Conference Center. Uh, we have been engaged to co-develop and manage an upper upscale hotel in the Hall of Fame Village uh, mixed-use development located in Canton, Ohio. It's going to be a four-star hotel and conference center uh, with about 243 guest rooms and suites along with about 30,000 square feet of meeting and event space with a planned opening in summer of 2018. The football themed property will be a key anchor to the Hall of Fame Village Project, a $500 million development on the Hall of Fame's campus, which broke ground back in September of 2015. Uh, Bruce Smith, an inductee to the Hall of Fame in 2009, is a Crestline partner on this project, and we have actually worked with Bruce Smith Enterprises on other projects as well. Um, so he's been a partner of ours for uh, several years now. We also recently did the Hyde Place DC uh, Georgetown West End. This was recently opened um, in April of 2016 this year. 
It's a 168 guest room, uh, guest room hotel upscale select service developed by Washington DC based Renaissance Centro and will be located at 2121 M Street Northwest. It's located in a beautiful West End neighborhood. This new hotel is steps away from Georgetown's shopping, dining, and nightlife while easily accessible to the heart of the nation's capital uh, via the metro. So that was one of our recent uh, openings here this year. Here's some examples, you know, over the next couple of slides of some of the hotels that we operate uh, by brand. So you'll see here some by Hilton. We've got the Hilton Garden Inn in Baltimore, Maryland, the Presidential, uh, which is the uh, ownership group. The Hilton Checkers in Los Angeles. This was also a historic hotel. The uh, Hilton in Chicago, uh, Illinois, by Sunstone. Homewood Suites in DC, RLJ. Some of the Hilton branded products. Some of our Marriott products that we uh, manage. The Marriott Newport News. Uh, Courtyard Baltimore, ARC Hospitality. The Courtyard in Virginia Beach, which is an Apple Reef Hotel, and the Atlanta Marriott Petrie Corners uh, by ASA Peters. Put that one in for you. <clears throat> Starwood. We spoke earlier about the uh, Weston uh, Town Center in Virginia Beach. This is that property. Uh, Some Hyatt products. We've got the Hyatt Place in Las Vegas. The Hyatt Place DC Georgetown, the Hyatt House in Atlanta, Cobb Galleria, and the Hyatt House in Virginia Beach, which is slated to open in uh, hopefully April or May of this coming year. Some ISG products. We've got the Crown Plaza in Fairfield, New Jersey. And some of the independents. You're here at the Stonewall Jackson Hotel and Conference Center in beautiful Stanton, Virginia. We've got the Phoenix Park Hotel, uh, another independent in Washington, D.C. Emory Hotel and Conference Center, uh, which is owned by Emory University. And then the Georgia Tech Hotel and Conference Center in Atlanta, uh, also owned by the Georgia Tech Foundation. Some, some great uh, independent products under our So when we were talking about, you know, uh, rev par and, and all that sort of stuff, your revenue per available room is really a combination of your occupancy and your average daily rate. And as we were uh, talking about before, anytime you are over 100%, you're really doing a great job because you're getting your fair share at 100%, plus you're dipping into the market and you're getting some of your competitors. So that's what we want to see. So some examples uh, here, uh, our very own hotel here at Stonewall Jackson, uh, our occupancy index 103.3, our average daily rate index of 125.2 gives us our rev bar of almost 130. Emory Conference Hotel, uh, looking at a 103.6, Georgia Tech Hotel, 126.5, our Marriott Newport News at 144, and the Western Virginia Beach Town Center at 135. So Crestline really does a, an outstanding job of knowing their market and putting their hotels in position to dominate the market. And that's what we're here to do. You may be familiar with some of our key players here. I won't read their entire bios, but uh, James Carroll is our president and CEO. To his left, you've got, uh, or right, You've got uh, Vicki Denfeld, our Executive Vice President of Sales and Marketing. Pierre Donahue, who is our Executive Vice President and General Counsel. Terry Ryan, who's uh, quite instrumental in a lot of these um, dealings, is our Vice President of Operations. Deanne Johnson Anderson, our Vice President of Human Resources. And Wayne Carney, who helps put all this together, our Vice President of Hotel Accounting. These are some of the 126 members that we have in our corporate office in Fairfax, Virginia. You 
you can kind of see some of the collaborative organizational structure uh, that we've got going on through our uh, corporate structure with some of the individuals that we previously mentioned. Uh, James Carroll sitting at the top there is our president and CEO. Uh, Vicki Denfeld, who handles all of our sales and marketing efforts, uh, which branches down into revenue management and e-commerce, as well as regional directors of revenue management. Then our corporate support, obviously, you've got um, the different areas that fall under our accounting and, and finance structure. Pierre as our general counsel, and then operations under Terry Ryan, uh, through human resources, as well as our account. A lot of great leaders in place there. That's truly it in terms of, you know, an overview of what Crestline does. And as I mentioned, I'm available for any questions in regard to Crestline or uh, particularly the Stonewall Jackson Hotel where you're at here today. Question if I could. Uh, this is going through our economic development authority. Uh, this project, from my understanding, is it's got a conference uh, part to it. On your rev part, do hotels with conference centers tend to do better, or right at or under that average? That's a great question. Uh, I would say you know probably right around the average. Obviously, when you do have that conference center component, you have an opportunity to really go after a lot more group business. Um, which is certainly fruitful for any hotel operation. You know, you kind of need that, uh, unless you are one of the select serve, right off the interstate type of drive market hotel. Thank you. Anything else? Yes, sir. And you probably can't answer this question yet, but the actual study for the Winchester area for price points for your rev par, do you guys have any idea where that's going to land right now? I have not been made privy to any of that information, so I could not answer that with any sort of intelligence. Which you could, but I was just curious. Thank you. Can I ask a quick question? Absolutely. Um, there, I noticed that Pennsylvania was not one of the states that you had any, any property in. Is there a particular reason, or is it just the way the world falls? Probably just the way the world falls, and when the deals are out there, you know, when we get presented with opportunities, whether or not it makes sense from a management standpoint with whoever the ownership may be, is, is probably just part of circumstance. But we like that statement. <laughs> um, this is more of an overall industry question, but, you know, I think what we're doing, which is the following the independent category, and what is the typical sort of deal length that you make with an independent? I mean, is it like a, it's a five year, 10 year, 15? I mean, how often those things? That's, that's another great question with, without being privy to, you know, any negotiations that have gone on. They range, you know, in between all of that. Five year deals, 10 year deals, or 20 year deals are what's typical okay. that you'll see. Okay. Anything else? Excellent. Well, thank you all for being here. Uh, I'm here throughout the rest of the day. I know you all are as well. So if there's anything that I can help answer for you uh, about this particular hotel and how we operate as an independent in a conference center, I will certainly make myself available throughout the rest of the day. And uh, just thank you all for being here and enjoy the rest of your retreat. Let us know if there's anything you need at all. All right.